this is the Atrium Podcast. It is me and Eric today, and we are getting this kicked off. Keep keeping the energy high. Sudden. It's been a year, right? Has been a year. Actually, the yeah, the last episode oh. was a year, and none of us remembered. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't remember it when it started. I remember we talked about it. Uh, a couple weeks earlier? before. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was Lost even. Track. I was even thinking. I was like, we should do something special. Like, I was like, I'll get something prepared, and then I just it totally went out of my head. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't know. Fucking. Yeah. So how many episodes is that then? Um, one a week. How many weeks are in a year? I don't know. I don't know either. I know there's like three hundred and. 55 days <laughs> or is it 65 six, okay yeah that i knew <laughs> i was close i'm always a little bit off when i guess that one yeah shit yeah i remember I said i was gonna buy a cake or something but cake i don't know <laughs> i was gonna eat a cake or something just because well i well, can't even see it yeah but that would, that's that's some of the worst sounds in the world to me is hearing people eat <laughs> like I know, it would have been funny. It would have been awful. <laughs> <laughs> Amplified by the microphone. Huh? Amplified by the microphone. That, yeah. That'd be a good treat for the viewership. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, have you seen the... You said you wanted to see the new Captain America, and I had a... I watched that on, like, a date night, so... Have you, have you seen it yet, or...? No. Hmm. I was just thinking of going by myself sometime, but I haven't yet. But yeah. Have you still been keeping up with Agents of Shield? No, fuck that show. <laughs> no, well, I don't know. I heard it's been getting good, maybe, but people usually don't talk about what they hate. But people have been tweeting about how much it's gotten better. I guess. I th- I think it has gotten better. Um. And like their their tie in with the Thor movie was pretty much like Thor events happen. Now there's cleanup and not much else to talk about. It was kind of nothing. But like after the Captain Wait, o- there's an episode Wait, there's an episode where they talk about the Thor movie? Well you know, the events that they, they touch on like that the events from the Thor movie had happened. But they don't really go... It doesn't really make any difference to the show. Uh, oh, wait. Thor 2, duh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, wait. When did Thor come out? That shit was a long-ass time ago. <laughs> but, uh, they're late. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually see the second one. I watched it. It was, it was a lot better than the first one, but I didn't really like the first one that much. I thought it was okay, but yeah. I thought the first one was okay. I like the second Captain America movie better than the first one, and I liked the first one. I didn't but, really like the first one, but the, <laughs> I was really excited about this the new one that's at Winter Soldier, because I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of know that story. Yeah, it could be good. I think I think they did a pretty good job, and like, the uh, episode immediately following in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has like dramatic changes because of the Captain America movie. Oh, shit. So like, that, uh, probably the whole, what do you ever, what's that, the flying ship getting blown up or something? Because yeah. that was the trailer. It's like, that's like the second time that's happened. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where they reveal big shit. But actually, um, because I thought that was, was like, like, gave away a lot, but that actually, that's actually, um, kind of a small part. Like, oh. so th- there's big changes and it, and it really affects the show. In the last episode, I was like, holy shit. This is getting serious. Now now I'm kind of really interested in where it'll go. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, yeah, I haven't seen... The last one I watched was uh, Coulson getting kidnapped because... Uh, what's his name? From the first episode? Like, sells him out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was the last episode I watched. and uh, I don't remember when that was. So I don't even know how many episodes are out now. Um, there's been a couple after he'd gotten kidnapped. 
Okay, so they they take a break for a bit then? They took a little break, um, yeah, after Coulson got kidnapped. Um, mm-hmm. And they've had, I don't know how many exactly, but I, I definitely think it's gotten a lot better. It did start off really slow, but... Yeah, it did. I was like, uh... I mean, because after, after that, I was like, okay, yeah, now, you know, that was a good cliffhanger, but then I didn't really have any desire to get back to it. But... Yeah, if everyone says it's getting good, then they'll check it out. I just haven't yet, but I will. Maybe, because I always <laughs> say that, because I haven't been <laughs> keeping up with anything. Yeah, I'm usually late on stuff. Like, I didn't start watching uh, The Walking Dead again until two episodes before the season finale, and then I just, like, marathoned that shit. But you've watched them all then? Yeah, I've, I've watched them all. And I actually liked the last season a lot better than um, the third one. Which is the third, uh, third season? Where they... Oh, yeah, the governor stuff and then Lori. And... Okay, yeah, th- third season. Yeah. Everyone complained about the second season the most. I like the second season. For some th- reason, everyone hated that one. Yeah, a, a lot of people did. Like, <laughs> even people online who I, I usually agree with. They're like, oh, this show's terrible. I was like, I guess I have bad taste, but I like it, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Sometimes I wonder that, too. It's like, do I have bad taste? Because if I like something and everyone hates it, then I don't fucking know. It just, <laughs> it just speaks to you in a different way. Probably, uh, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I like The Walking Dead. That's, yeah. But yeah. I don't really watch a whole lot of shows either, though. Because everyone's saying, because on Netflix I have... What do you call it? I think my... Actually, I think I checked last week. I think the queue is gone, but I remember I added a bunch of things, and they're not there anymore. Netflix is I, just like, just you know, give up. You're, you haven't watched these. <laughs> well, because I haven't used it since... Because when Tori left, because it's hers. But I guess she said she set up like a guest account or something. Because I guess you, could have, you can have multiple accounts now. Yeah. I haven't checked it. In forever, and last time I did, nothing was on there anymore. And it's like oh, I don't remember what shows I added. I mean, I kind of remember. It's like I kind of remember adding. What was it? Uh, Wilfred. God, that show's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking hilarious though. But I think I watched like the f- the first season, and then maybe up to episode two of the second season. I left the, the last episode of uh, Supernatural. And I said I was going to get to that, but I haven't. Supernatural, the last one I've watched of that is probably... I think they're on season 9? or they, Is it season 9 or 8 right now? I think it's season 9 right now. 9? Yeah, I think I'm on 8. Like, the beginning of 8. Okay, I'll watch those with you. I've already watched them, but I like that show. Yeah, and then there's... People say American Horror Story is pretty good. Um... Then there's Bates Motel, I heard, is pretty good. So yeah, I watched a random-ass episode of that yesterday, and I'm like, I am lost, but <laughs> it seems interesting enough. That one kid from August Rush has a good American accent, and he kind of has those mannerisms of Norman Bates. Hmm. Maybe I'll pick watch the show, but yeah, some major shit happened yesterday when I watched it, and I was like, ah, fuck, I don't even know what the fuck is going on, but... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't had any real interest for American Horror Story or um, the Bates Motel because it's not really my genre. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm not sure if it is either. I mean, I figure I'd give it a chance, though. See, that's the thing with anime that I keep doing. I have Crunchyroll, but I think I'm, like, wasting it because I'm not watching anything on that. Or, well, I've been trying to watch some shows on there that were, like, recommended. Or I'll go through like the reviews and sort it out like the, by the genres that I like, and I'll check it out. And it's I don't know. <laughs> I watched the show yesterday. I watched the first two episodes of a show called I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Batum. Uh, B T O O M. Yeah, yeah Batum. It's fucking like that show was. Uh, I did not like that. <laughs> yeah. After the second episode, I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? And I'm like no no none of that yeah it was kind of like battle royale but more video game referency but also just lots of rape yeah 
There was a yeah, and I'm like, mm, no, I'm done. No, why did you recommend this? The last show I watched, I watched all of it. Um, Log Horizon, because that was recommended because of Sword Art, which I really, really like. Yeah. One of my top favorite animes. That's, and, that's a really good one. Yeah, but Log Horizon was just kind of... There was no real, I guess, direction in it. It was more like, okay, people are stuck in the game, and, you know, they're sad about it. Next episodes are, oh, okay... I'll help out this friend, rescue this person. Cool. Hey, there's a big threat. There's like a giant invasion. Okay, cool. We fight them off. Awesome. Now we're going to have a ball. Okay. And it's, I don't know, the story is just coming out of nowhere. And then the last episode, which I thought was really weird, was they were wrapping up what happened before was, okay, some noble king NPC comes in, tries to take over, and they say no. There isn't, there isn't even any fights or anything. Uh, sorry if I'm spoiling this. I just have to vent because I'm kind of pissed because this show kind of sucked. Yeah, you know, I think a, <laughs> a problem it had to me, which was I had a hard time getting into it, was there seemed no real... Direction? Like, no direction, for one. Like, Yeah, like even the characters couldn't really figure out what the hell's going on. And <laughs> there didn't really seem to be a whole lot of actual danger. Yeah, and what exactly. seems like a combat-oriented world. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because in the last episode, the episode before last was okay. Some guy comes in, says, "I'm going to take over." They say, "No, we figured you out." Because you know the main character is super fucking smart. Cool. He leaves, and then the last episode is, "Oh, check it out. Here's this NPC. I'm the most powerful, you know, guild leader of this region." And I've come to take over. No, we're going to fight. Okay. Then there's no fight because it's the end of that season. <laughs> and getting a second season. I'm like, but who the fuck is that? Where did they come from? And that's... I'm sorry. That's just fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of anime can be really hit and miss for me. And especially if it gets too fan service -y with jiggly cartoon breasts and panty shots. I'm like, I don't... I don't need this. <laughs> yeah. I I'm, I want a cool story. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's another thing. Have you seen Kill a Kill yet? I have not. I've only watched the first uh, episode. And that's pretty much the same thing. But I think I might continue it. Because it, for some reason, at least it's really funny. If you could get past some things like that. Yeah, cause I think they're doing it on purpose. That's the thing, though. Because I kept hearing, like, it's really good. <laughs> but just looking at the art, I'm like, I don't know. Because that's, yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, that's what I was afraid it would just be. Yeah. So instead, I just watched Brotherhood again. And I just recently watched Trigun again. Trigun. Yeah. Trigun. Yeah, Trigun's good. No, but Kill a Kill, at least from the first episode, I mean, it's kind of weird like that because it's got those you know weird panty shots and stuff like that i think they're doing it on purpose but from what i watched it was really funny and really cheesy with the action and like over the top the animation some at some points almost remind me of fully coolie okay. sometimes it would just kind of change yeah so like we yeah it kind of reminded me of that just the art style would change and i mean it seemed interesting but i mean i'll probably try to watch couple of more episodes or something see how that goes but other than that i don't know i think i added naruto shippuden to the queue even though i don't think i really want to watch it yeah <laughs> the, the other one i heard was supposed to be really good was like the maguka something or what i i don't know it i guess it it seemed like another magical girl anime thing like especially specifically like sailor moon type you know, mm -hmm. where they're regular girls, and then they become magical girls, and they get crazy abilities and whatever. But I guess it ended up being, like, really good. Like, they turned the whole genre on its head, and it ends up, like, really dark. Is that on Crunchyroll? Um, I think it's on Netflix now, actually. Oh, shit. See, I'm gonna have to remember that, then. Because... I haven't gotten anything on fucking Netflix because it's all gone now. 
Yeah. But yeah, I mean, with that, when it comes to anime, a lot of this, a lot of this shit's the fucking same. Even their fucking covers look the goddamn same. Yeah. I mean, you can't judge a book by its cover, but come on. Some <laughs> for some of them you can. <laughs> You're like, I know exactly what this genre is gonna be. Yes. I really, I did really <laughs> like Darker Than Black though. That was one of my favorites. Shit, I never finished that one actually. I've only watched the first five episodes of that. It gets really good. Yeah. Isn't there a second season of that too? I have not watched the second season. <laughs> but there is then? I th- yeah, there is a second okay. season. Um, but I thought the first one ended so well that I was really afraid of what they would do. Um, so I was like, maybe I'll come back to the second one after some time. Oh, shit. Let's see, because what I'm waiting for, honestly, is like uh, Sword Art, whenever their next season comes out, maybe what is it, Attack on Titan. But I'm still trying to find other shows, because there's like a billion shows on here. But I'm just trying to find something that's interesting.